morning, my life, Facebook, YouTube nation. Um, today we're going to talk about um, a very trending um, craze, uh, a diet that's been around for a while. However, it's becoming increasingly more popular in the medical field, um, especially, but also amongst competitors, not competitors, and the general public. Um, I don't know if you, a lot of you know this, but um, we have about a 90 plus percent obesity rating in America. Um, and as we discussed in the previous videos, um, a lot of that entails uh, eating foods that promote um, insulin response, promote the pancreas to produce insulin, um, thus putting us into a, a growth-like state, um, which in turn causes us to become more and more overweight. Um, as society as a whole. Um, so a very popular diet that I actually am very fond of. Um, if you want to shred up for summer really quickly or you're just looking to kind of tighten everything up and you're, you're getting tired of the monotonous macro-based diets and things like that, um, this could be for you. Um, also, for very large individuals, um, which are a lot of my personal favorites because I don't know if a lot of you guys know this. I, I was roughly about 300 pounds when I was 16. Um, I was very overweight growing up, a uh, Tennessee boy. Um, you can see more of my profile on the My Life Fitness website um, that kind of describes my journey. Um, but I've been up and down um, and tried tons of diets. I would never put any of my clients on anything that I haven't tried personally um, and also researched and, and whatnot because everybody, as you guys know from these videos, um, I'm very, very science approach to things. So has to be researched, has to be documented. Also, I have to personally have done it. Um, so moving right on. The diet I'm going to talk about today is called ketogenesis, uh, a ketogenic diet. Uh, the term ketogenesis um, in layman's terms basically means fat for fuel. Um, so basically what we're doing is we're changing the mindset of using carbohydrates as fuel, which the body is norm normally used to, to converting it to fat as fuel. So by ingesting um, large amounts of fats, um, we can in turn um, promote this ketogenesis and ultimately the body will begin to utilize the fat storages on your body as energy sources. Um, and so how do we set up a keto diet? Um, a keto diet, if you're looking at a macro-based keto diet, so if you're trying to set up a diet of yourself, my fitness pal, and you want to set up the macros, how much fat, how much protein, how much carbs, um, basically you're looking at 65 to 75% of your calories have to be fats. Um, that is a lot. Um, you are going to be utilizing oils, olive oils, macadamia nut oils, avocado oil, uh, coconut oil is a big one on this because um, the saturated fats really assist um, the, the promotion of ketogenesis in the body. Um, also, if your body has never done this, um, it could take between 7 to 14 days for your body to finally convert. Um, you can uh, pick up some stuff at the store called Keto Sticks. Um, I have some, personally, that uh, basically you pee on the stick and it, it will tell you how much ketones uh, your body is pushing out. And what the ketones are is, is fat. So you're basically peeing out fat. Um, and so this diet is great for people who can't get to the gym very often. Um, I always encourage a little bit of cardio with this. Um, however, diet is everything. We know that we've talked about it. And so, um, even with not going to the gym very often, not exercise very often, this diet is very effective. Um, carbs and that stored glycogen and that insulin response is what makes us overweight, what makes us gain fat. And so with a ketogenic diet, um, as I go into a little more in depth, um, will prevent this storage, uh, will prevent the insulin response. Thus, we cannot get fat. Um, it, it's, uh, don't be afraid of the fat is, is the big kicker. Um, I'm actually gonna come up with uh, another apparel design that uh, has that for the keto, keto people. Um, anyway, moving on. Uh, so 70, 65 to 75% of, of our calories are gonna be from fats. Um, we want to go, um, and, and these are not necessarily good fats. These are uh, your bacons, your 8515 beef, um, you know, whole eggs. We, we want fatty stuff. And you'll notice when you're trying to set these numbers up, 
um, or if you hire me, um, you're going to be eating a lot of fatty things that you normally be like, oh, this is horrible for you. But it's not if you're doing the diet properly. Um, moving right along, uh, the rest of your caloric intake will be about 25, um, well, we'll say 30 to 35 percent um, protein. Um, we'll go in in just a minute about the the biggest keto mistakes and, and what keep, prevents you from converting to this ketogenesis. Um, but this is not a high protein diet. This is a very moderate to low protein diet. Um, so you're not going to be eating regular chicken. You're not going to be eating a lot of tuna. You're not going to be eating a lot of these low fat foods um, because your protein um, will get way too high. You're not going to be able to get those fats in. Um, so you're going to be doing like pieces of bacon covered in, you know, bacon grease with eggs cooked in bacon grease with, you know, beef or ground turkey uh, covered in olive oil. I mean, you're going to be uh, nuts, you know, your your nut butters. These are things that are going to be very effective on this diet you're going to be able to eat. So those of you with salt cravings is fantastic. Um, also, those of you who like to eat, I mean, you're going to be eating. Um, so then the, the last one is about 5% of your calories come from um, carbs. So really, you're not incorporating any carbs. I mean, you your carbs are going to come from the, the little bit of green vegetables that you eat. Um, but I, I definitely encourage for competitors to count those, um, those carbs. Um, but for non-competitors, you don't necessarily have to count the carbs um, from your green vegetables. If you get really, really hungry um, and you've already kind of pushed through your numbers, you can have more green vegetables. They're fibrous carbs, uh, which your body will, will excrete and it doesn't absorb them like, say, uh, net carbs. So... That's the general basis of a ketogenic diet. There's ketogenic cycling, a bunch of stuff. I'll post some articles um, so you guys can read a little more in depth into it. But this is an extremely popular diet, especially if you want to lose weight very quickly. Um, I had a client, 360 pounds. So, again, the larger people really are effective with this. Um, lost 60 pounds in a month. One month, doing 20 minutes of cardio a day. Nothing else. Blew my mind. Um, another guy, 240, lost 40 pounds. Another girl, um, 165, got down to 125 in a month and a half, um, drops like 17% body fat. It's, it's amazing what, uh, what this will do for you. Um, but it, again, you can't cheat and you have to hit those, those fat numbers. Um, if you cheat, uh, again, the insulin will be promoted and insulin and fat do not like each other. And so you will get fat if, if you cheat on this, um, Moving right along. So we're going to talk about the top four keto mistakes, um, what will prevent you from getting into ketosis, prevent you from really enjoying this diet. Um, the top one is not getting enough fat. Um, again, 65 to 75%, more than 75% uh, of your calories have to be fats. You're going to be eating oils. Um, you're going to be having real bacon. You're going to be um, having real beef. You, you cannot, you know, chicken thighs, not chicken breasts. Because, again, you eat too much protein, uh, which we're going to in a minute, your body will convert that into glucose and you will fall into ketosis or you will not ever reach it. Um, the key is to get into that ketosis. Once once your body gets into it, um, it's running like a diesel truck. I mean, right now we're running on gas for these carbs, but we switch over to diesel. This thing will chug along better and more efficiently than ever. Um, mistake number two, um, too much protein. As I just said, um, if you ingest too much protein, this is not a high protein diet, your body will do, as we mentioned in the, the BCA video, will convert um, the protein into glucose through a process called gluconeogenesis, um, which again is the creation of glucose. It, it will begin to, your body will continue throughout this diet to search for energy sources. Um, and so if you give it some carbs, it will love to go back to the way it was. However, if you don't, it will just shred you up. Um, again, your body likes the way you are. So when you're trying to change it, um, it will fight you because it just wants you to be normal. You're normal. Well, most of us don't like our normal. Most of us want our normal to be this shredded, uh, beach body ready all day long, year round, 24-7. Well, you got to work to get to there. 
And when you do get to there, your body will create another normal of that. However, it takes time. Um, low electrolytes. So without insulin, your body does not hold sodium. So a lot of people talk about, oh, well, what, what about my high blood pressure? What about my high cholesterol? Is this going to be a problem? So initially, you are taking in these higher salty foods, um, and your, your cholesterol numbers will go up. But once your body converts to this ketosis and also not having the insulin response, your body will not hold sodium. So again, you're not going to look bloated as most people might assume, and you're also not going to have these increased levels of cholesterol, um, bad cholesterol, and you're, you're not going to have higher blood pressure from all the salts because your body's not going to be holding on to them. You're going to consistently have to keep eating salts. You're going to be salting all your food as well because the sodium is necessary for the muscle growth and the change and the body to change. Um, also potassium, you're going to be eating some spinach, uh, avocados, uh, things high in potassium because the electrolytes are needed uh, for different uh, exchanges in the body as far as muscle cellular development um, and also cardiac exchange, just general health exchange for cells in the body. Um, and finally, magnesium um, is extremely important. Um, biggest thing to do for this one, uh, multivitamin or a magnesium supplement are, are, are typically the easiest way to get that extra magnesium in because you're getting your body, we're, we're taking away a lot of the, the, the carby foods with a lot of this magnesium in it and we do need to replace it. Um, if you do not, um, you will uh, not feel so great on the diet, um, and it's usually involving lower electrolytes. Uh, again, we you want this to be as easy transition as possible for you, or else you might quit. Uh, if it gets too hard, you know, it, you're like, oh, maybe I'll never convert. No, just keep your mind right. Stay patient. Um, number four, um, or number three, excuse me, hidden carbs. So, Industries, especially with processed foods, have have become wizards at hiding carbs. Um, so you know they they come up with a bunch of different words and say sugar free and all these other things. Well, you need to start reading labels. Um, if you especially if you're buying stuff in boxes, you you need to look and see. Okay, well this has seven carbs in it. Well, you only allowed to get you know say thirty a day. That's a large amount of carbs. So you got to really pay attention to that. Um, and also, you want to look for, for added sugars. So like words like maltodextrin, uh, dextrose, pure cane sugar. Um, we want to avoid sugars like the plague. Um, you, sugar will keep you out of ketosis. So reading labels and looking at these things. Um, artificial sweeteners, uh, your sucralose and things like that, uh, usually don't cause a lot of problems. I, I'll keep my competitors off of them, um, especially the leaner they get. Um, however, for the general public, you know, if you want to have some Mio's, uh, Crystal Lights to flavor your water, because we do need to keep the, the water at a gallon like, um, like the standard, um, uh, then you can. Um, diet sodas, things like that, um, in, in extreme moderation, um, usually won't kick you out of ketosis. But again, you always want to look at the labels, make sure you're not seeing any hidden sugars or a bunch of extra hidden carbs you're not even noticing, and you're wondering why your body's not changing. Um, the biggest thing I could say um, is to be patient. Again, um, the body is extremely adaptive, and, but it ultimately wants to keep you the same way you are. So what you need to do is just stay strong. Um, there's, what happens in the beginning is you, your body gets, thinks you're, you're starving it. It thinks you're draining it because you're pulling away these carbohydrates, which is this normal energy source. And so it will cause symptoms. You can get some headaches, you can get some nausea, uh, you know, what's called like the keto flu, as they say. It only lasts for a couple days if you get it at all. Um, take aspirin, you know, extra caffeine helps. You can have your black coffees and things like that, um, or even some of the flavored coffees don't have carbs in them. Um, but you just got to stay strong. And then once your body converts into ketogenesis, I mean, it's like you just pounded down like seven Red Bulls. I mean, it, you your energy level is amazing because now it's feeding off your body and your fat. Um, and it, it just loves it. I mean, loves it. Triglycerides are such a better energy source than carbohydrates. Um, and doctors are really starting to notice it now, especially with uh, obese patients, um, that these diets are extremely effective and they work very quickly. Um, and so just get ready for a lot of industry changes when it comes to 
uh, medical journals and whatnot just about the higher fat and triglyceride use uh, as far as energy sources and body change and transformation. Um, I was going to get with Jordan today, but he's a little busy, um, so I might have a second part to this. He's got a lot of recipes. Uh, Jordan being the guy at Vitamin Shop, he's a huge keto fan, um, and it's actually one of the first conversations we ever had, um, and he's got tons of recipes. Um, you know, one one that's my personal favorite I'll just throw out there. Uh, basically, you take a whole cauliflower, and you throw it in a pot, and you boil it down, uh, and you mash it up like mashed potatoes. Throw, throw cream cheese, cilantro, butter. These things are all high in fat. You can have them, cheese, things like that. Super cool. Um, and, and then make mashed potatoes, creamy, fatty mashed potatoes. Oh, it's fantastic. And then go get some ground beef and make a meatloaf. And instead of using breadcrumbs, use spicy pork rinds. Oh my gosh, you grind up these pork rinds, it just gives it that crisp. That is a fantastic keto meal. Also like a Mexican omelet covered in cheese and, and um, you know, you can have some green peppers. Um, you know, you'd be munching on salami and cheese and just, you could think fat is your friend. Fat is your fuel. And that's the hardest concept for a lot of people to get. I mean, I, I have to go, you got to trust me on this. But I have done hundreds of clients on this and all of them have lost weight, if not surpassed their goals that they had for themselves. I mean, that one guy lost 60 pounds a month. Who thought that was going to happen? I mean, changed his belt. He was like, I got to buy new clothes. I was like, I don't have money for all this. So all this stuff sagging all over the place. I'm laughing hysterically. It is fantastic. And no matter your fit level, big, whatever, this is a diet worth trying. Give it a shot. Do it for a month and just get ready to get your mind blown. Um, also, if you have any questions, you're always welcome to message me. Or if you want to get on one of our programs and say, hey, set me up on a keto. I'll do it. That's no problem. We'll make it super easy for you. We'll make sure everything's going on effectively and that you get the best uh, bang for your buck. Um, so that is Keto uh, 101. And uh, any other questions, concerns, please feel free to, to message me. Um, one thing I want to talk about as well, um, the second part, is I had a, a real personal friend of mine come up to me and talk about injury. Um, he had just got out from soldier surgery. Um, and shoulder, shoulders and knees, when you mess these things up, I mean, the recovery process is takes forever. I mean, it is not fun. So always remember to stretch um, when, you're, when you're doing training. Also, it will promote muscle growth and change stretching. A lot of people don't stretch enough, uh, including myself. Um, however, he's very frustrated because he, he was working on getting his bench up. And, um, you know, now I can't lift worth anything. You know, I can't get over 225 on the bench. You know, I, I don't, I mean, it's going to really set me back. You know, I haven't been in here. Well, anyway, there's a million different ways to train. Um, you know, you have strength training, you have mass training, you have all these things. Well, I personally think if you can't get the weight up or you've hit a plateau, try HIT training. And I don't mean high intensity interval training, H-I-I-T. I mean H-I-T, high intensity training. Um, there's a person named Mike Metzer, who I'll, again, will post a little video from him down at the bottom. But he can train back and chest in a period, I think it was eight minutes. Um, but his type of training is very different. Um, basically, to give you a general idea, um, so I was telling um, my friend um, that he should do four-second counts up and down. So basically, he's doing the bench press, and he starts at the top, and he goes one, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And so you keep doing that. I promise you, even at 225, he was dying by the 10th set or 10th, 10th rep. I mean, dying. He's like, oh my God. I was like, yes. Remember, when you're talking about muscle hypertrophy, it's not necessarily about throwing up crazy weight. Most people throw up way too much weight and their form's horrible. So if you bring the weight down and focus on that slow training, particularly on the negatives, uh, positive being the, the forward motion, negative being the, um, the back, and you also have what's called isometric, which is the hold. But on the negative especially, keeping a four-second count, you're going to create more tension on the muscle. So if you think of the muscle, and I have this conversation with hundreds of people, so a lot of you have probably heard this before, but the muscle is kind of like a rubber band. 
So all these people are just throwing up all this crazy weight, not only paying attention, form's not good, they're not fully expanding the muscle, shortening and lengthening as we talked about in some other videos. Um, they're taking a rubber band and they're stretching it like this. Rep after rep after rep after rep. Well, as we know, with rubber bands from being kids and playing rubber bands, you do that a thousand million times, you let go, the rubber band goes back to its normal shape. Okay, no changes, all right? However, if we can create tension, which is basically doing those slow holds, those slow movements, those four second counts, or you can make a movement slow if you wanted to, and you can do it with anything. I mean, leg press, uh, bicep curls, uh, back, I mean, anything. Try negative training, it's fantastic. Dorian Yates is really good about this too, uh, but Mike Metzer, uh, again, he's an old school guy, one of the first people to ever get a perfect score in bodybuilding. He said this man's body was perfect. Um, so he's definitely worth looking at. A little old and funny looking now with glasses, but he was a bit—he was a teacher, and and he basically focused on um, bodybuilding and changed the body. So uh, professor, rather. Um, so anywho, you, you're you're holding that rubber band, and as you're holding the rubber band, creating that time under tension. The longer the time, and the more tension we can create. Now we let go of the rubber band. The rubber band elongates. It changes. That is your muscle. That's the fascia of the muscle. So we create that pump, put the weight on the, the bar, slow down the, 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 the contractions to make the tension longer. Now we're promoting change. And then we feed that muscle after our workout and our body changes. It's such a simple concept. So general idea, slow down. And injuries don't have to kill you. Don't psych yourself out. Your mind is so important in this. You've got to believe in yourself. There's a thousand different ways to train. And just because you have an injury somewhere, that you, you can make up for that. My mother had knee surgery. She still was doing P90X, T25, and, and Insanity. I don't know if you've ever seen that. But that at-home video will destroy you. And my mom's still just crushing it. Crushing it. Um, double knee surgery. I mean, it's just not having excuses and trying to find ways that you can adapt and change so you don't hurt yourself anymore. Um, but again, you could still grow into or change into exactly what you want to. Okay. Well, that being said, uh, last thing I'll say, apparel line is out. Um, everything is fully customizable. If you get on the website, I have about 19 designs, um, including hats. Um, you can choose, basically you pick a design. It, they're going to be, have some templates on there to show you what it would look like on like a black t-shirt. But Say you found one of our designs. Um, I have one called Gummy Gains, and it's like a little gummy bear just flexing because um, a lot of people, you know, have post-workout gummy bears, and, and they love it. So it says Gummy Gains in the front. Well, anyway, you could take this design. You could put it on a tank top, a hoodie, a V-neck, a, uh, a T-shirt, um, a thin hoodie. Uh, we, we gave about five or six options for everything. Women even get more. You get Razorback, some, uh, Razorback tanks, jersey tanks, burnout tanks. Anyway, you select the apparel item that you want the design on, and then you also select the color. Um, if you go in there, it will show you, uh, you can click a spec box that will show you all the color options you can you can put on these things. You want a crazy coral shirt with a big old gummy bear on it, you want, I mean, a red one, a purple one, a pink one, it's probably there. There's camo, there's all kinds of stuff. It took me so long and I wanted to make this so, because this is about my life. What is your life about? I want everything to be customized to you. Um, Prices are, are not bad at all, and the quality of these products, I've sampled so many things, and your, your mind's going to be blown. Once you put this stuff on, you're not going to want to wear anything else. Um, again, thank you guys so much for your support. I know everybody's been really excited about the apparel line and, and the diets, and all our clients are just so happy. And uh, if you need know anybody that needs help, please message me. Um, we have a lot of uh, very cost-effective programs, um, competitors and non-competitors. Um, and lots of different diet types fit every lifestyle. We want to help you. Let's make it more healthier you. Um, and again, it, the goal is to make you feel or look on the outside the way you feel on the inside. And, and that's what the important thing is and to give back to everyone else. Um, thanks again, you guys, for watching. This is Jerry Moore with My Life Fitness. And you have a wonderful day.